The Soybean School on realagriculture.com is brought to you by Pride Seeds, Safina Insecticide, and Cruiser Max Vibrance Beans. Werner Tobin on the Soybean School today, joined now by a horse, Bonner. Horse, how's it going? Excellent, good to see you. Hey, great, uh, thanks for the invite. We are at the uh, Perth Oil, Soil and Crop Demo Farm and want to talk about planting in the cool soils. It's May 5th, pretty cool, we've got some weather yeah, coming. Yeah, yeah. Um, and you've been talking about this for a bit. Before we get to, 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 to I guess, the situation right now, I want to talk about what you're learning here already about planting into the cool soils. Tell us about some stuff you're digging up here. Right, right. So there's been some conversation over the years that if you plant really early, you should maybe even plant your soybeans a little deeper for more consistent temperatures as opposed to shallow, which is what I believe is the right thing to do if you're planting very early, right? Because of course we want to see those beans emerged and uh, emerge again and we've talked about that. So what we have here is different planting depths, one inch, one and a half, two, two and a half and we planted those on April 22nd, right? So two weeks tomorrow, and uh, from, from what you can see, they are coming along very nicely, right? Uh, they've got a nice little radical on there, so things look fairly good, despite the fact that when I planted those, it was three degrees Celsius, right? And it went to minus two that night. So really shocked them, but I think the key to soil temperatures is whether or not the ground is fit and relatively dry. So what I'm getting at, I'm quite sure that if the last two weeks had been soaking and the ground was saturated, right, those beans would look ugly, right? Because they start to rot if it's wet. They can handle dry, you know, relatively dry conditions and it being cool, cold, what soybeans really don't like is wet conditions. Right. Now it's May 5th, it's cool. Right. And it's what I'm hearing from you is saying is drive on. But beware of those wet conditions and we may have some wet conditions coming this weekend. Right, right, absolutely. So, you know, the, the scenario, of course, of cold soils is far from ideal. We want it warm, but you weigh the risk and you say, here we are in May, it's Ontario, There's the ground is, is fit in a lot of places. Do you drive or do you not drive? And my, and my theory is you should not let a window pass. If the ground is fit, that's the key, right? The ground has to be fit. Uh, you can plant as long as there's not a big, cold, heavy shower coming or, or rain event. And of course, there's, there's a few reasons for that. One is we can get crusting and we know that's such a problem for soybeans. Number two is you can get that imbibitional chilling injury, that shock of that initial cold water within the first 24 hours or so, that's what we really want to avoid, right? So planting into cold soils, we don't seem to get that shock, but if you get that cold rain after, that can be a real problem, right? Yeah. So it's Tuesday, you said right. you're going to drive on with your planting, your plots until Thursday and at that time you're going to make a call. Yeah, I think that's absolutely right. In my estimation, uh, it's far from ideal again. I'd like it to be 25 degrees here today, but you know, I've got my jacket on. It's about 10 right now. Tomorrow it's going to 13. I'm comfortable with that. I'm going to plant and you know what? Those beans will be just fine, but they're calling for some uh, showers, maybe some snow on the weekend. So I'm, I'm going to stop Thursday and then reassess, right, uh, to see what, what happens. Now you might say, well, why not just wait till next week, right? It's supposed to get warmer. Well, the only reason is because in Ontario, you never know if you're going to get a window next week or next month, right? Like we learned last week. So this is really about uh, weighing the risks. And yeah, there's some risk, but it's really not that big a deal from, and you can see just even from that uh, picture that we showed, right, of the, of the little radical on the, on the seed. Of course, we don't have a plant stand count yet, but they look fine and we've done it in the past and it works out, it works out.